Final result, Brayhead Clan 3, Edinburgh Capitals 1. I'm standing here with one of the walking wounded, sadly, Lee Esders. Lee, you took a sore one during the, the second period. What happened? Yeah, I mean, uh, I got the puck and it's coming across the blue line. It was a, it was a funny collision. Uh, it was my own teammate, but um, I felt my knee bent inwards and obviously a sharp pain and it was tough to walk on afterwards. So I uh, got treatment straight away. So hopefully a couple of days rest here and should be good to go, hopefully. That's just the unlucky nature of, of things at the moment with this team. That the guys are going down uh, left, right and centre and yet you're clattered by your own teammate. Yeah, I mean, uh, it just seems seems a rub of the green for us at the minute. We've uh, got a lot of injuries and unfortunate I've picked one up tonight. But um, hopefully the right treatment and uh, a bit of rest and I should be good to go. Up to that point though, I mean, what, what were you making of the game in terms of, of how it was going? And you were, I think you were running at that point as well, weren't you? 3-1, yeah. so things seemed relatively comfortable at that point. Yeah, I mean, uh, we co again, we come out a bit flat and we set back uh, first 10 minutes and was was took by surprise when they got that early goal. But, you know what, we bounced straight back and put a bit more confidence in the guys. And uh, I think the guys battled hard tonight with the amount of guys we have on the ice. So credit to those that played tonight. Now, you, you said there you, you missed out in the third period completely, obviously getting uh, treatment on your knee there. What's the, the early diagnosis and how long are you likely to be out for? Um, there's, at the minute, the physio said like there's, we can't go for any scans or anything like that with the swelling. But um, it's not as bad as we first thought, so I've had a bit of ice and a oh, bit more rest tonight. We'll probably travel with the team tomorrow and then uh, we'll go from there, really. So I'm looking at probably a week or so and then we'll, we'll know further. Furthermore, you're talking about travelling with the team. It's back to Sheffield for you tomorrow. Uh, your old stomping ground from last season. You'd have been looking forward to playing. Obviously, disappointing that you're going to miss out. Yeah, very disappointed. You know, I want to, I want to play every game. Uh, I feel like I'm playing well at the minute, and I'd love to get another one over Sheffield uh, tomorrow. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty disappointed to be missing out that tomorrow. Well, did you get a good? I think you got got a good. Uh, reception off the Sheffield fans last time even though Clan came away with a, a win as well. You've got some old friends down there as well as old rivalries being uh, being uh, reignited. Yeah, uh, there's a there's a lot of banter and stuff uh, <laughs> before before obviously before you play but no I mean everyone in Sheffield was good to me and all the guys and everything like that wished me all the best so um, at the end of the day when it comes to game time we want to beat them and that's that's the end of the they were unusually disappointed after the weekend last week. They lost the two games, but they got a win against Five Flyers tonight. They, they needed that win, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, with the Doug, Doug Christian situation, it's uh, it's kind of a little setback for them. But um, obviously, uh, they need to win. They're they're a big club, and uh, they need to be picking up points every weekend. But we're not going to go in there lightly tomorrow. I know we've got a few guys, but. I'm sure the guys that are going to be playing tomorrow will be battling hard and want those two points, bringing back to Brayhead. Good stuff. Well, I'll let you go, Lee. Thanks yeah, very no much. Problem. Thank you.